it has been what seems like forever since I've done a truck intro on one of these videos. But that's what we're gonna get today. Uh, I'm running way, way behind. It's already 3.15. I'm still 20 minutes away from where I need to get to. Uh, the feeder goes off at four, so I'm gonna be extremely rushed. We are about a week and a half, two weeks out since the North Texas Great Icemageddon. Uh, we were snowed in or iced in for about three, four days, and so I didn't get a chance to get out and do any hunting at that time frame. And so the weather has now shifted and it's now 70 degrees again. Typical Texas weather. But I decided to get in the truck and head north to Oklahoma. I'm in southeastern Oklahoma today, I'm gonna head to my cousin's place where I've had several boars coming in. Hopefully one decides to, to come in again tonight, mess up and give me a shot. But anyway, hey, what's going on everybody? <laughs> Thanks for clicking on another video and uh, tonight should be a good one. Like I just said, I'm being a little rushed, but I'm pretty much dressed in the gear I need. I usually don't like to, to hunt in what I'm driving in and everything, I usually get dressed where I go. But I'm not gonna have that luxury today. I'm way behind. I had to stop by work this morning, wrap up a few orders, a few things. Kind of stuck me behind for the day. So stay tuned. Hopefully uh, I get get a pig on the ground tonight. And if you're watching this, chances are I did just that. So stick around. Well, I'm gonna try to make this pretty quick. Uh, I got out of the truck. I got here. It's about 3:45 right now. Feeder goes off at four, so I'm extremely late. Which I hate being late to these hunts like this, but I got all my gear ready. Um, I'm having to wear what I wore earlier, which again, I don't like uh, wearing what I wear throughout the day. I like to get out here, get my clothes switched out, um, be a little more scent free best I can. The wind is okay right now. It's out of the Southwest and uh, hopefully it stays consistent. And if it does, I may be able to get in here in time. The feeder goes off, like I said, in about 10 minutes. And I've got about another five minutes to go on this walk. So I'm gonna sneak in here tonight. Hopefully they uh, continue to do what they've done every evening and show up about 5, 5.30. But if they get here early when the feeder goes off, I'm gonna be in trouble. So we'll see what happens, but I don't know.
was standing right here. Oh, I've already got blood here. Yeah, he's bleeding pretty good. This hill. I'm not sure which way he went from here. Man, it's thick back here. Now I'm back in the area where I thought I heard him crash. Still on good blood. See him laying there. He's a goner. God, getting him out of here is going to be hell. Yeah, he's missing an ear. That's weird. All right, well, as you can tell, another good hunt. It's not a very big pig, probably 60 to 75 pounds, but it was a fun hunt nonetheless. This pig's had a pretty hard life. Uh, he's missing an ear on this left side. I don't know if you can tell, but right around here, his, half his face is missing. I'm gonna assume that because of the amount of pressure that's around here, I know there's a lot of guys that heli hunt on this border and properties as well as thermal hunt, these big open fields around here. I'm assuming this guy probably got caught up in one of these open fields and somebody was taking pop shots as he was running or uh, maybe a hog dog got him. I know a lot of times when those dogs clamp onto these pig's ear, I see this one's even ripped. So he's got a ripped ear on the right side and no ear on the left side. So maybe he was caught by some hog dogs and I either got away or they let him go, I'm not real sure. But good hunt this evening nonetheless. If there's one takeaway, I will say from this hunt, it is that even though maybe starting out your hunt's not going to be going as planned. I know for me this evening I was, I'd gotten out of here late and I consider not even going because I'd gotten here so late. But in case that happens, I would say go ahead and go. Uh, just be a little more cautious and quiet going in, sneak in that stand. I got here left five, probably five minutes before the feeder went off. I was sitting, I'd just gotten up in the stand when the feeder went off, put it that way. And, um, I was patient. I stayed till dark. These pigs came in later than normal, so you never really know when they're going to be coming in, and it worked out for me. So I'm going to say, don't be afraid to get out there, even if, if your hunt's not going as planned at the beginning, because you never really know. And a lot of times, your worst hunts turn out to be your best. I can think of a lot of times when I've been deer hunting, 
things weren't going as planned. I've gotten out late and I've killed some of my best deer on those mornings. So don't be afraid to, uh, to go ahead and stick with it. And more than likely, you're gonna have a good time either way. But thank you all for following along. Hopefully you enjoyed this content. Hopefully you enjoyed this hunt. And if you did, please hit the subscribe button. And as always, you guys will see me again on my next hunt. Hey, one quick tip before I go for all you guys just getting started in this hog hunting stuff. Anytime you kill a pig, uh, you're gonna wanna drag him away from your set. I shot this pig last night, as you guys know, and I came back this morning to get him. He died about 50 yards from my set, not, maybe not even that. But if you don't get these pigs out of your area and you just leave them lay, it's gonna take weeks, typically, before other pigs come back. I know uh, when I was a kid, farmers used to always tell me that they'd shoot coyotes and hang them on their fences to keep other coyotes away, and this is kinda like that for me. Uh, some of you guys may have a ton of pigs out there. Hell, your pigs may even be eating other pigs. I don't know. But I know that if I leave mine dead like this, laying around this feeder within 100 or so yards, I won't have any pigs for the next two to three weeks at minimum. So always a good idea to come back, whether you do it that night. If I was going to eat this guy, I would have done it last night, but he's pretty rank. He's missing part of his nose and his ears and stuff, and he's kind of thin. So I decided to go ahead and get the buzzard some food. But I'm going to get him loaded up in this deer cart right here. I came back the next morning, as you can see, and got this cart. I'm going to drag him out probably five to 600 yards away at minimum, put him in the open where buzzards can get to him. That way they eat him really quick. And stuff starts coming back to this feeder in no time. Uh, but just anyway, quick tip for you guys just getting started. Always get your animals out. Get them away from the feeders, especially if you leave them lay. You'll have a lot more success with other pigs in the future.